when, when uh, I went to a conference in October, and there was a gentleman who uh, made a presentation about not having water, and he had shared about how so many people throughout the world don't have clean drinking water. And uh, he has shown a, a video presentation where people were literally getting water out of a mud puddle. And I'm sitting there thinking as I'm looking at this video, I wouldn't even wash my car with that water. And these folks, that was the only drinking water that they had. You see pictures of people who have facial tumors throughout the world and in many third world countries. And I found out that many of them develop those tumors because they drink water with parasites in them. And those parasites will go into the soft tissue in their face, and next thing you know, the whole side of their face is, is swollen up. Mm -hmm. Stuff we take for granted. I know all of you in here, if you had to drink from Lake Tuskegee without it being filtered or clean, y'all would think I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that water is cleaner than the water that some people have access to in the world. So this guy uh, has his website, mycharitywater.org, if you haven't been there, I urge you to go, uh, where they just, he came up with this brilliant idea. He said, you know, I got friends that have spent $20 on a drink at a club. He said, if I could give them, get them to give up one drink out of the club, if I can get 250 people to give up $20, uh -huh. we can dig a well somewhere in the world. <coughs> then he went a little further and said, well, if people will give up their birthdays, and instead of receiving birthday gifts, just ask folks to donate to this effort. And I thought, I said, well, you know, my birthday and my pastoral anniversary kind of fall around the same time. And I said, well, let's do that. And I discussed it with Kathy. She said, sure, let's go. And we did that. And you know, some folks tell me, man, you want to give up your anniversary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God's been good to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the time. You know, I, I haven't always done everything he told me to do, but, but when I did what he told me to do, God has blessed me. Amen. You know, and, and, and the piggyback on it, you know, me and the Lord talked a few years before I gave up my good government job. <laughs> you know, I, I, I ain't bragging. I'm just telling you what God has done. Right. You know, my, my, my daughters were educated by the grace of God. Amen. You know, shut doors that no man could open. He did it. And when he's ready to pour out a blessing, he'll open up the windows of heaven and pour yeah. out a blessing yeah. and won't be able to receive it all. Baby girls at Ohio State University. You know, and, 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 and the Lord blessed her so much she came up and gave me uh, gave me a check for Christmas. Said, Here, Dad, I want to pay one of my car notes. I just cried. <laughs> Part of the reason I cried because cried the mother gave it back. <laughs> God has been good. And, and if I could just touch somebody, if I could just reach out and do something that, that, that would lift up the name of Jesus yes. you know, Amen. and let somebody know that we serve a risen Savior, Amen. then this is, this is just a small sacrifice to make. So uh, we thank you all for, for your gifts. Uh, we thank you for joining us and giving this gift of life. Uh, whoever came up with this well idea, I, I'm, I'm just tickled. I mean, that, 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 that is wonderful. I saw that running, I said, you know, I got to put that on the website. But again, we want to thank each and every one of you.